Hi guys, this is Chris Beamer with IPGRentals.com and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial of the Denneke TS3 Smart Slate. Let's check it out. All right, so welcome back. This, my friends, is a fantastic little device brought to you by a company called Denneke and the model is the TS3 Smart Slate. So the day that you graduate from the, uh, from the good old board slate uh, is a fantastic day because this actually takes you to a whole new level. It helps the editors out in post-production a lot uh, with, with time code, with user bits and stuff like that. So this is the Denneke slate and it's super, super simple. Uh, and I'll show you the ins and outs of it. Uh, it runs actually on six uh, AA batteries, just like so. And you put it in with the positive side facing up ran into this little slot. It could be a little, it could be a little uh, treacherous with this little uh, door right here. So you push this in and then you kind of put it up. Now before you go and close it all the way, you'll notice that there are uh, a couple of switches here and you'll see a rotary dial there too. So the rotary dial is there for you to select your frame rate. It's very important to do this properly because if you have communication between uh, an external device and this slate and they're not matched up, then there will be an error and you'll see it displayed on the screen. And then there is the two levers right here. The gray one is for you to either do run or read. So run is for when you get the signal from another uh, external device, then you detach it, and this generates or continues to generate that time code with no connection necessary. Uh, and read, you have to retain a connection the whole time in order for it to work, because when you pull that, it will stop and pause your time code. Uh, and then there's the set button right there. You hit that button when you're uh, complete doing the time code rate. Uh, so when you do your time code rate and you do run or set or run or read, uh, then you hit that set button and that retains uh, your selection information. So you close that up right there. And uh, from here on, there's actually gonna be two little switches right here. One is going to be your on and off, which is right here. And then this one is going to be your brightness uh, for your LED in the front. And what's fantastic is if you're indoors, you don't have to burn extra battery um, by having this super bright. So there's three levels, uh, medium or light, medium, and very, very high, high light. Um, so outdoors, the LED shines through, but it will drain a little more battery if you have that selection on there. So if you're indoors, definitely go with a low LED setting. When you're outdoors, you wanna be much higher. And there's your on off switch right there. And this is a cool little cheat sheet on the back too. If you ever get to the position where you know, you're know you a little uh, unclear of how to make this slate run, there's a little cheat sheet right here and it'll tell you what to do. Like I told you, the rotary dial's right here. Um, the read and run switch and the set switch is right here. It shows you how to put the batteries in. And then on this side, uh, the one, two, three, and four, I'll turn this right here, and it will actually show you right here that you can do, uh, you can do four pin power to this right here. And then your quarter inch cable, you can also plug in for getting your information from uh, an external generator. Uh, so again, it's all kind of shown on this little cheat sheet on the back. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing and, and see exactly how it works. So what we have in front of me right here is the Sound Device 664, which is a mixer that we also offer here at IPGRentals.com. Uh, and this will be my time code generator that I will be putting in here. So you'll see I have this quarter inch cable that goes to the two pin limo that goes out of the time code port of the 664. And I'm already generating time code coming out of this mixer right here. I've already set it up in here. And if you wanna see how I did that, and also user bits, which I will discuss on here in just a second, you can check out uh, the link to the video that's gonna end up at the end of this video on the left side for the total tutorial for the Sound Device 664. So be sure to check that one out. It's 45 minutes, awesome. So anyway, to really get this thing going, I'm gonna put this right down. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said before, and I'm gonna flick this switch, and that will start us going. And when I do, a couple of things will pop up. The model number will pop up, the battery level will pop up, and then the time code selection will also pop up. So if I go ahead and lift this up, I have the jog wheel set to auto select, which is any time code that comes in, any frame rate that comes in, it will recognize it and it will be able to jam to it. So auto is a little bit easier to deal with than a specific time code. Um, so we typically tend to use that. So right now I have this on auto select and like I showed you before, right here is the input for the quarter inch cable. Now my mixer is on and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead 
And I'm going to rotate this around so you can see as I plug it in what it displays. And it is, here we go. So there we go, it accepted. And now I will remove this and you can see that it continues, that it continues to go. Now what's awesome about this, especially in post, and this really is designed for post to make it a very fluid uh, and easy situation uh, for post-production editors, is when you actually put this down, which I'll do in one second, you'll have four frames of the finished time code of when that slate struck. You'll also have the user bits, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So that holds for just four frames, and then it shows you the user bits. Now user bits are kind of like a tail end information that you can give to post-production. What I mean by that is when you hit this, you see how it gives you the dates, 11, 20, 18, right there, and then A1. I have it set to give me not only the date, I have it set to give me the scene number too. We like it set it up that way. I think it's a nice helpful little trick for, uh, for post-production to have. So that is the Denikey. TS3 Smart Slate. We want you to feel very, very confident with the gear that we rent here. So every Monday at 9 a.m., we drop a new video with tips and tricks regarding the gear that we have for rental here so your shoot goes as smooth as possible. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's our gear, it's your vision, ipgrentals.com.